channel. If you're new here, my name is Naomi Boyer. In this video, I have another high-end items that I have been buying a video. This is sponsored by Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are liking these Saks Fifth Avenue videos that I have been sharing. Stay tuned because I'm about to show you some really, really good stuff. All right, so for the month of December, Saks is having a December gift card event. So everything I show you in this video is part of this event. So take advantage. All the details will be down in the description box below. So let's just begin. So I'm starting off with some items from Frame. If you guys are not familiar with Frame, they're such a good like denim brand, but on top of denim, they also make really good basics. So I got this t-shirt right here, which you guys know. If you've been following me for a while, I love a good, sh a good shoulder pad. So you guys always ask me where can I find really good t-shirts or, you know, what's a really good brand. This is something that I feel like you kind of need in your closet because sometimes you just want to wear white t-shirt and jeans, but it can be boring. So this is definitely not boring. I love like a good crew neck because it just looks nice and sleek and put together rather than something a little more slouchy that looks like it's been stretched out. Um, and then here's the detail on the t-shirt. Love the length. You could still fold it if you want to, but I love the length as it is. And then you can see it's kind of like darted or tucked in at the bottom at the cap and then it has like sewn on shoulder pads right here so very very like intricate details for a good t-shirt but I definitely think it's worth it because this is like a t-shirt that people will be like oh my god where'd you get that tee so next up I wanted to share these jeans I was so excited when I saw this so this is another piece by frame I love the wash this is definitely something you can wear now in la i know a lot of you guys are freezing um so i would just like throw a puffer and some boots or you could do just like a sherpa jacket something cute like that but i don't know if you can tell hoping i can show or give these jeans justice but they're like a barrel jeans so they're kind of ballooned on the outside if you can see then it tapers back at the bottom and then the hem is like distressed um, and it's just such a cute detail. I have heels on this one hits me like right below my ankle So it's supposed to be more ankle length and cropped at the same time. This is ultra high-waisted So I love love that about this They also have another pair that has more ripping if you want more distressing I'll link that one too. This is what the back looks like I got an extra small for the top and a 24 for the jeans and they're super comfortable If you're not familiar with frame, they are some of like the nicest designer denim brands um, such good fit and very very soft all right guys so this next outfit I love so much I love how like unique and edgy it is so it's I just gonna have to show you up close and I love this as a black outfit but it would look gorgeous with a white top because there's so much going on with the skirt I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like has an attached adjustable belt with this silver buckle. And so if you were wearing a white shirt, you'd see like peaks of white to show the accents of the skirt. But I did love this as a black outfit. So I'm gonna start with the top. So this is a top, it's not a bodysuit. It has all kinds of like cutouts right here. So this is a strap right here. This sleeve actually detaches if you want it to. So then it just becomes like a one shoulder top. So there is a little button right here where you can just unbutton it and then this sleeve will come right off and then you'll just have the strap and then the shoulder. I love how it has um, these thumb holes right here. Super, super cute. Then I love how it's like a halter neckline, which is so flattering. And then a normal long sleeve right here. So it's ribbed and it's very, very soft. And then the back, as if that wasn't enough, has this cute little hole cut out okay so this skirt it is a true skirt it's not a skirt although it looks like one so it's like a wraparound skirt and then on the inside this belt is attached and so you just kind of wrap it around and go through the little belt hook right here and you can tighten it adjust it tighten it and it's just a really really cute added detail also it just makes the skirt a little more secure and here's another photo right here in case that wasn't clear enough here's another photo with the white top and all the details that would show and this is what the back looks like i got an extra small 
in both the top and the bottom and this is by the brand helmet lang okay you guys so did a little zhijing of the hair changed the shoes added a little tiny bag and back to the original earrings because this dress it needs its own moment it's by cult gaia if you guys are not familiar they make the most dreamy unique standout pieces and there are you know lots of other places that make similar um, styles but I will tell you there's nothing like the real thing so if you've been lusting after a piece like this specifically this piece I know the name is the Alicia because I've been lusting after it for a long time this is a really good time to buy it through the December gift card event at Saks so I'm going to show you up close because everything with their um, brand is just so intricate and the nice thing about this is that you can take this off and just use it as like an off-the-shoulder dress um, but this is just a nice added detail they're also just known for like their cutouts so this is what the back looks like this does go pretty low but obviously you could still wear your bikini or your underwear and it's gorgeous and it comes in many colors the thickness of this like i wish i could explain to you guys the material but like i said when i say that there's nothing else like the real thing when it comes to these types of styles there really isn't because it's just such quality pieces it's pricey but you can tell why it's so pricey when you receive them so i feel like i did say it's a good time to buy but you know i feel like you just need at least one at least one cult guy a piece in your wardrobe but this is just so gorgeous and perfect for springtime which is gonna show up just right around the corner okay next up i got this swimsuit it is gorgeous it's by the brand bondi swim and it's one size so i know if you're kind of new to this one size type of like swimsuit um let me tell you don't be worried or anything like that i have other ones that are just like this and the thing with it is that it is so stretchy but it really does fit all different sizes so this is the fit on me this is the back of it so obviously I did nothing to it and it fits me fine and if you have any doubts like it stretches and this goes up but it also just like comes back and then you know expands it's really really good quality the color up close it's like a it's like a mint pastel green and it has little flecks of gold in it but nothing like too crazy or too noticeable so it's really really nice i love this cut and another thing with these bikinis is that they're so 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 comfortable so if you want something that's comfortable has good thickness has good quality but it's still really like you know sexy at the same time and flattering and will definitely fit all sizes this is it all right last but not least from Saks, i had to get this like dress it's by the same swimsuit brand i just showed you bondi swim and this is just like so amazing to have for the beach if you're on a vacation i know a lot of you guys that live in cold places go on vacations um, for the winter time this is so nice to just slip on it is in that same material as the swimsuit in that one size fits all fabric and you know i'm only five one but look how nicely it fits me and i love the like square neckline with the straps really far across to give that like square neck effect and it's just so cute and it's just like you could take a dip throw this on it could be wet and you're just like good to go to lunch go shopping throw on a hat be sure to check out the description box i know you guys are gonna want links and be sure to click and make it quick because these are sure to sell out especially with the prices with this event going on and again be sure to check out the terms and all the info it will be in the description box and now i'm gonna head into the mini vlog portion of the video hello is it lunchtime? You're eating pupusas? Yay! Mmm, mm, so yummy! Good job! Hi, Rosie! Hello, Rosie! Hi, Mommy! Hello! <laughs> How was your walk? Was it a good walk? Why is your thing undone? Why is your thing undone? There's Rosie! Presley, can you, you say hello? Your feet, love, because it's cold. Your feet's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Just going on our little walk. 
really nice outside. It's not getting as cold yet. Probably like January, so but the night just drops. But these are some nice blocks that Presley loves. She loves her little blankie. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned it on here, but we're going to Aspen, and I'm so afraid, terrified of being cold. So obviously I'm buying like, you know, the winter gear, and I got these beanies. I got like this chocolate brown one, which is so cute. Um, this like a crew, almost like off-white color, and then just like a black color. But why are these so tight on my head? I think I have a big head and I have a lot of hair. So let's try them on. Got them on the Black Friday sale, but like, doesn't this look too small? Like, I feel like I'm supposed to have a little bit of room up top. You don't even need to wear beanies in LA, so I just like, kind of don't even know. I feel like this makes my head look like a little mushroom head or something. Like, I feel like this is supposed to be for babies. So that's the brown one. And then this white one is even worse. It's like, I don't want to get makeup on it. This one is so comfortable and soft, but like, it's like small. Is it supposed to fit this way? And then here's the black one, which I really love that they're just so like, you know, simple. The ribbing is not too thick. That's what I liked about these. This one is even tighter. This is like the tightest one of all. But like, this like totally wraps around the top of my head too much. Like, I don't know. This too much? I feel like I'm supposed to have a little more room. Anyway, I hope you guys have been liking these mini vlogs that I'm adding into like my regular videos. I know you guys liked the vlogs before and it's just been such a challenge just trying to like juggle it all um, and vlog. So I figured I'd start just doing these mini vlogs here and there along with these regular videos. It's just kind of easier that way and I can give you guys the vlogs that you want. So this vlog, however, unfortunately, is not gonna be like the best vlog. I was planning to vlog more of like this afternoon and working and then I didn't charge the battery. So I'm like a little rusty on the vlogging, so I need to make sure my batteries are charged and I have space in the discs. Um, so I'll do better next time. So I'll vlog whatever's left over of tonight and then I'll vlog in the morning and then that'll be you guys' mini vlogs. But yeah, let me know if you guys are liking them or liking that I'm adding them into these regular videos in the comment section. I'm actually gonna go take a shower right now. Jamie's down there feeding Presley um, and then it'll be her nap time soon. I'm gonna put her down and yeah. Then we're gonna have a little bit of time to watch some shows, which we so look forward to these days. So I'll bring you guys along. See the yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? Oh, hey, I see a blue horse looking at me. Yeah, blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Careful. Oh, I see a yellow duck looking at me. You love that book, huh? Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Sorry. I'm bothering you and your reading time. Yeah. So, just finished shower. We need to figure out what we're going to eat for food tonight. And what else? Put Pressy down soon, give her a bath. She's so cute at bath time, so maybe I'll show you a little bit of that. Also, she's so close to walking. She wants to walk so bad. So close, so close, so close. We got some snow stuff here. So got this super cute snowsuit for Presley. It even has the belt. It has like the little mittens and the little shoe covers. I don't even know what you call these, but it's so darn cute. Like I literally want it for myself. Say hi guys, I'm taking a bath. Hi guys, I love bath time. Say I love bath time. Yeah, I love clean girl, clean girl. Where's my burrito? Where's my burrito? burrito. She's got done with her bath. Come here, burrito. Say good night. Oh, sleepy burrito. Say bye bye. Love you. Good night. All right, so I just put Presley down for her nap. This girl is so tired. Um, She skipped her second nap today, which she hasn't really been needing her second nap or she has been fighting her second nap. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I also wanted to know if you have a baby or a child that is 
around the same age. Presley turns 11 months tomorrow, which, oh my God, that is so crazy. She's gonna be a year in a month. Oh my God, I can't even believe it has been a year. I literally still remember like it was yesterday, me going into the hospital for a non-stress test because they had to monitor her and it was January 1st, literally New Year's Day. Jamie and I went in there and they were just supposed to monitor and do a non-stress test to end we ended up staying and I ended up having her on January 2nd, three weeks early. And yeah, her due date was supposed to be January 27th, but it was January 2nd. So she, she wanted out. So anyway, we're waiting for our food and we're about to watch some shows. Right now we're watching Narcos. We're watching Love Island season three UK. We need to start Yellowstone, the new season. What else? We just finished another show oh we're on succession oh, love that show one of the best shows ever um there's just so many right now so many that all seem to happen at the same time i'm really liking housewives of salt lake i can't wait because yesterday i found out the housewives of miami is coming back which i don't even know why they ever took it away like i loved the housewives of miami but i feel like miami is just always a place that needs to feature that type of like genre just because it's miami so anyway i think i'm gonna cut the vlog short here and continue on with it tomorrow so see you tomorrow good morning it's december 2nd and we have an 11 month old bless you bless you on our hands you're such a big girl now hi press happy 11 month birthday hi <laughs> She's about to eat some breakfast. Made some eggs for her. I have some banana pancakes. Gonna give her some bananas. I have myself my coffee. Mm. My top is from Everlane. I get so many questions about it. Okay, so I am about to get ready for the day. I usually will have like the Today Show on, but I've recently just started listening to podcasts. I don't know, it's just nice to have something to listen to, inspirational, motivational. Some that I love are like the Bella's Twins podcast. I watch them and their show and I love them. So they have interesting stuff. What else, who else? Sometimes I'll listen to Jana Kramer's. I like the Blonde Files podcast. Sometimes I'll listen to Maria Menounos. Also the Skinny Confidential. I know a lot of people listen to him and her. Um, and that one's good. Full coverage with Laura Lee and Manny MUA. I've been wanting to listen too so i'm actually gonna subscribe keep forgetting let me know if you guys um it's like birds flying let me know if you guys have any good podcasts that are more motivational um with like interesting people and interviews um let me know in the comments below otherwise i'm gonna get started on my makeup i have really been loving this tulip primer i'm almost done with it it's like the one brand that i did not want to like then as soon as i tried it i loved it there's just like so much hype about it but it really is a good brand and i'll literally use that if it's like a no makeup day and just like call it a day i've also just really been using less and less like foundation i was at one point just putting concealer under my eyes and then just like dabbing some powder on but today i'm gonna do a little more Okay, I wanted to show you guys, share with you guys my new brows, um, our new brow product that I've been using, the Huda Balm Brows right here. So it has like the thinnest tip, like so super thin. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, I was always using my Anastasia one and I loved that one. This one is so much better because of how thin the tip is, but with the Anastasia one, it was a little too waxy. I liked it, but it was just compared to this way too waxy. So I was always having to make sure my brows were dry and then, um, you know, use it. But this one, it's so like pigmented that like one stroke it shows. And so like, I can just easily fill them in. It's just so good. So if you need a really good brow pencil, this is it. Also I'm bringing back, I think this is like my favorite blush. One of them, like top three. I've had it for a while and I just like realized, hey, 
this is actually such a cute blush and this is what it is it's by morphe who knows if they even still make it but it's called pop of coral do you see that it's so pretty i just mixed the three i'll even add it to like my lid and it's just so pretty and pigmented can you see that I'll add to the other side i haven't blended yet but just wanted to share so finally done getting ready this is the final look sorry if it was like choppy and i didn't show you everything but i just had to hurry because i have a lot of things to do basically um my eyes i use the mario palette which i barely ever do any crazy eyeshadow ever really my lashes i use lash sensational and this one by hourglass and then my lips i use a liner actually which you guys have heard me talk about this many times in the past it's tiramisu by Rimmel London it's like probably one of my favorite liners ever I just kind of go all over my lips and then I kind of like outline it with the uh, nude 1.5 by KKW also I've been loving this Laura Mercier honey star translucent powder for a highlight instead of like all over my face just like a subtle more natural highlight and then my hair this is hair from yesterday used my Dyson air wrap which I love so much and that's that so I'm gonna get to work. So anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Again, check the description box for all the information. If you guys need any links, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.